वेलकम टू माई चैनल एजुकेशनल ट्यूटोरियल मेसोपोटेमिया इज थॉट टू बी वन ऑफ द प्लेसेस वेयर अर्ली सिविलाइजेशन डेवलप्ड पिक्चर्स को सिटी डेवलपमेंट हैव बीन कंट्रीब्यूटेड फ्रॉम दिस सिविलाइजेशन द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड कैलेंडर केम फ्रॉम दिस सिविलाइजेशन What is a civilization? Civilization is thought to be as an advanced stage of human cultural development. The period between 4000 BC and 3000 BC was a time when many civilizations flourished. Ancient civilizations began near the river banks as rivers provided water for drinking and irrigation. The discovery and use of metals enabled people to advance to a new stage in the progress of civilization copper was the first metal to be used by humans the period when both stones and copper were used to make tools is known as the chalcolithic period later humans began to mix copper with tin or zinc and produced an alloy called bronze because bronze was harder it began to be used for manufacturing agricultural tools and weapons As a result, four civilizations developed in the world. As bronze played an important role in the growth of these civilizations, they came to be known as Bronze Age civilizations. The Harappan, Mesopotamian, Chinese, and Egyptian civilizations were Bronze Age civilizations. The Bronze Age ended the Stone Age. The timeline of this age is 3300 to 1200 BCE. People started making weapons and tools made from bronze. During the period states and kingdoms emerged. People started migrating and trading with each other. The wheel and the ox drawn plow were invented. Proto writing also started during the period. Social stratification and slavery were introduced into the society. The Mesopotamian civilization is a Bronze Age civilization that emerged in the wide and fertile land between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates in West Asia. In Greek, the term Mesopotamia literally means the land between two rivers. The southern part of this area was called Sumer. To its north lay Akkad and Babylon. The uplands in the north were called Assyria. Presently, This region corresponds to most of Iraq and parts of Syria and Turkey. The Mesopotamian civilization flourished from 3500 BCE to 600 BCE. During floods, the twin rivers overflowed their banks and deposited alluvial silt, making the soil fertile and hence allowing people to grow crops and settle down in the region eventually. Mesopotamia had no natural boundaries like mountains, deserts or sea protecting it. Hence, this fertile area attracted several nomadic tribes from outside the region. The earliest tribe to settle in Sumer were known as Sumerians. The Sumerians developed the world's first civilization and founded the oldest of the Mesopotamian city-states around the year 3500 BCE. and prospered for more than 1500 years they were later conquered by the babylonians and eventually by the assyrians thus the great mesopotamian civilization was a combination of three key civilizations sumerians babylonians and assyrians the sumerian city of ur was divided into three main areas the sacred area the walled city and the outer town The sacred area consisted of a massive step pyramid structure called Ziggurat. Ziggurat was the chief temple of the principal god of the city. The sacred area also had the city's storehouse and offices. The walled city and the outer town were the main residential areas. The narrow streets of the city were lined with houses. Each house would face away from the street. Each house also had a central courtyard with rooms surrounding it. Like most civilizations, Mesopotamia had a hierarchical society. The society was broadly classified into 
the upper class, the middle class, and the lower class. The upper class comprised the king, members of the royal family, priests, and high officials. The middle class comprised farmers, artisans, and traders. And the lower class comprised slaves who were prisoners of war. The occupations of the Mesopotamians included agriculture, animal husbandry, and art and craft. However, agriculture remained the poor occupation. The soil between the rivers Euphrates and Tigris was very fertile and suitable for all types of crops. Wheat and barley were the most important crops. They also grew various fruits, vegetables, and pulses. The Mesopotamians are thought to be the first cultivators of wheat. Animal husbandry involves domestication and care of animals. The Mesopotamians domesticated many farm animals such as cattle, sheep, and goats. The Mesopotamians were highly creative and industrious. They developed specialized skills such as weaving, pottery, and sculpting. They used gold and lapis lazuli for jewelry and wood and eaves for furniture. The designs were intricate and beautiful. The Mesopotamians were the first to develop a code of law that every citizen was expected to follow. If a citizen failed to abide by the law, in this code of conduct, they were liable to face consequences. King Hammurabi of Babylon had compiled the rules and laws of the city and wrote them on a stone slab. The wonderful Mesopotamian civilization started to decline. There are many factors that are attributed to its fall. Some historians observe that frequent flooding from the rivers and faulty irrigation techniques made the land infertile and unsuitable for crops, forcing people to abandon the site and move elsewhere. It is also speculated that the river Euphrates changed its course. Some historians also believe that wars were an important cause for the collapse of this mighty civilization. The Mesopotamia is widely considered to be the oldest civilization known to mankind so far. The modern world remains indebted to its varied contributions, which are primarily in the fields of writing and literature, science and mathematics, technology and law. The most significant contribution of the Mesopotamians to the modern world was the invention of a system of writing. By about 3200 BCE, they invented and developed a script called cuneiform. The Mesopotamians wrote on wet clay tablets using a stylus in the left to right direction. Each individual tablet was considered a page of the book and several tablets together formed a book.